The first quarter of 2020 will be remembered as a period when the coronavirus-led uncertainty set off a liquidity crisis in financial markets, forcing investors to sell everything, including Bitcoin BTC. The top cryptocurrency, often touted as a safe haven, fell by 10% in the first three months of 2020. While the cryptocurrency eked out 30% gains in January amid the U.S. Iran tensions, it could not withstand the bearish pressures emanating from the global dash for cash in March. The broader crypto market also suffered losses in the first quarter, as evidenced from the 5% decline in the total market capitalization, according to TradingView. However, a few cryptocurrencies including the privacy coin Dash and Link, the native token of decentralized Oracle network Chainlink, managed to put in a positive performance. Even the most actively traded cryptocurrencies have thin volumes compared to traditional assets like stocks and bonds, so ascribing market movements to fundamentals remains a tricky exercise in this young, speculative market. However, developments such as evidence of real-world adoption or new business partnerships may have played a role in these coins' gains. See also, how financial models could move Bitcoin's price after the halving. The following are notable winners and losers of the first quarter among 19 major assets featured in the forthcoming Coindesk quarterly review. The list is curated to exclude cryptocurrencies with less than 12 months of trading history, and daily trading volume of less than $5 million. The list does not include stablecoins. Coindesk Research will publish the Q1 edition of the review this month. Winners. Dash. Quarterly performance, plus 63%. Ranked by market capitalization, 19. Market capitalization, $606 million. Current price, $64. Dash Dash, the 19th largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, jumped nearly 63% to register its best quarterly performance since the final quarter of 2017, according to data source Masari Pro. Back then, the privacy-focused cryptocurrency had rallied by a staggering 217% amid the bull market frenzy in the crypto markets. The latest quarterly gain is largely the result of January's stellar 180% price rise. While the majority of prominent cryptocurrencies outperformed Bitcoin's 30% rise in January, Dash went a step further by scoring triple-digit gains possibly due to increased adoption in Venezuela's hyperinflated economy. Dash established meaningful collaborations with international brands including Burger King in Venezuela and Germany. These collaborations, coupled with lower transaction costs and a faster transaction experience than Bitcoin, further promote Dash's narrative of day-to-day -day usability, said Nemo Chin, an analyst at the multi-asset investment platform eToro. The team behind Dash has certainly been pushing that narrative. Venezuela is now the world's leading market for crypto adoption, Ernesto Contreras, the chief of the Dash core group, declared in a blog post on Jan.11. See also, Bitcoin all-time high in 2020? Chances are only 4%, options market signals. Some observers, however, challenged the Dash community's claim of massive adoption, accusing the cryptocurrency's Venezuelan team of fabricating merchant usage numbers. Peter McCormick, host of the What Bitcoin Did podcast, said in February that Dash was exploiting Venezuela with propaganda. Ryan Taylor, CEO of Dash Core Group, countered skeptics with a detailed post outlining Dash's increasing usage in Venezuela. Taylor's assurances, however, did not stop the cryptocurrency from taking a hit in February and March alongside sharp losses in Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency fell 23% in March, but still ended the quarter with outsized gains. Link. Quarterly performance, plus 31.5%. Ranked by market capitalization, 14. Market capitalization, $2 billion. Current price, $2.24. Link, the 14th largest cryptocurrency, closed the first quarter with 31.5% gains, having put in dismal performances in the preceding two quarters. At one point, in early March, the native cryptocurrency of the Chainlink network was trading at record highs above $5, representing a staggering 200% year-to-date gain. Chainlink is benefiting from the shift in focus from base layer smart contracts like Ethereum to Oracles, which began in 2019, Vance Spencer, co-founder of Framework Ventures, a blockchain technology company, said in early March. A decentralized Oracle network built on top of Ethereum, Chainlink connects smart contracts to real-world data, events and payments. An Oracle is a third-party information source, whose sole purpose is to supply data to blockchains. So for example, if two users bet on the outcome of a soccer match, the Oracle will tell the smart contract which team won, so it can pay the winning better. Chainlink has made encouraging noises over the last 12 months or so with multiple partnerships that look like the product of relentless business development and go-to-market strategy, as noted by Spencer Noon, head of crypto investments at DTC Capital. Link chart by Masari. Recently, decentralized finance DeFi platform BZX integrated Chainlink solutions recently following the major hack in February. Meanwhile, Celsius Network, a crypto lending and borrowing platform, announced on Monday that it has entered into a partnership with Chainlink to strengthen the security and reliability of its services. Losers. Vet. Quarterly performance, minus 39%. Ranked by market capitalization, 36. Market capitalization, $262 million. 
Current price $0.0030. VeChain's VET token fell by 39% in the January to March period, erasing the rise from $0.0035 to $0.0055 seen in the final quarter of 2019. The first quarter began on a positive note, with the cryptocurrency rising 10% in January. The gains, however, were significantly less than the broader market, as indicated by the total market capitalization, which rose by 35%. VET remained on the back foot in February, having underperformed in the first month, and took a beating in March as the broader market collapsed with the sell-off in Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency hit a record low of 0.0014 on the Binance exchange on March 13 and ended the month with a 43% loss. VeChain is a blockchain-enabled platform designed to enhance supply chain management processes and has a strong presence in China. The coronavirus outbreak in China in January and February and across Europe and in the US in March hurt VeChain's business activity. However, no projects were cancelled due to the pandemic, according to a VeChain Foundation blog post. See also, Bitcoin's recent recovery won't salvage a terrible month for prices. The foundation announced on March 31 about a collaboration with Shanghai Gas Group Co. Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of Shenergy Group Company Limited with registered capital of 4.2 billion renminbi $57 million, to develop a blockchain-enabled energy project. NEO. Quarterly performance, minus 20%. Ranked by market capitalization, 22. Market capitalization, $631 million. Current price, $6.63. NEO, NEO, which fell 20% in the first quarter, is also based in China. The sentiment around China's Ethereum had turned bullish in the final three months of 2019, mainly due to President Xi Jinping's decision to embrace blockchain technology. The cryptocurrency rallied 14% in the October to December period, despite Bitcoin's 13.6% drop, only to surrender gains in the first quarter of 2020.